The video you just saw is an example of what happens when a wheel bearing fails. So we're going to talk about the stresses and causes of failure in a wheel bearing today. So this is an example of what a wheel bearing looks like. And you can see here's where a wheel bearing would be in the assembly of a hub on a car. There are many different forces that are experienced by the wheel bearing during um, loading. In racing applications specifically, the wheel bearing experiences much higher forces than maybe street applications would. Your typical forces would be your static loading of the weight of the car itself. The um, weight of a car can be as much as you know, 3,200 pounds that's distributed evenly under the four tires, as you can see through the, the two weight forces. You also have dynamic loading, which will be experienced when the car goes under braking and extra weight goes to the front of the car or under acceleration when extra weight goes to the rear of the car. Um, and these are due to the difference of height of the center of gravity. Another dynamic force that will be experienced is under turning. Um, you'll have extra weight to the left or right side of the car depending on which way you're turning. And in certain racing applications, you can have so much dynamic um, weight transfer such that like a left rear tire will come off the ground which puts way more weight on the other three wheels, stressing the wheels, the tires, and the bearings themselves. Uh, the next picture is um, a 2D stress analysis of the bearing. You can see here where the stress concentrations are as the weight is being put straight down on this bearing. There's also stress concentrations on the bearings directly surrounding the bottommost one. Go ahead. But to get a most accurate understanding of the bearings and the weight and stresses that are distributed on them, it is important to do a 3D finite element analysis. As you can see here, as a, the car goes through turning, there creates a moment on this bearing that produces additional stress forces on the outermost ridge of the bearing. As you saw in the introduction uh, video, wheel bearing failure can be extremely catastrophic and can cause a wheel to even come off of the race car. As you can see here, this is a brand new wheel bearing as compared to a uh, previously failed, obviously, wheel bearing. Wheel bearings go through a ton of cyclic loading. In one season, a wheel bearing will experience over half a million cycles. This is every time that the wheel goes up and down or in one full rotation, the, the individual rollers within the wheel bearing will go uh, from compression into tension. Um, the, the failure of the wheel bearing will be very ductile because the metal will heat up from friction in the tires and the brakes and stuff around it. Um, however, uh, the failure will be slowly due to the, um, because it will begin pitting the uh, wheel, the rollers, and they'll become oblong shaped. Yep, is that a good word? <laughs> <laughs> um, and and then once the wheel bearing begins to lose its effectiveness uh, in reducing friction, we'll be begin creating a lot, a ton of friction, and um, will be will heat up immensely, and that's what will ca cause the catastrophic failure as seen by this wheel bearing which can lead to the wheel falling off. So now that we know how the wheel bearing is going to fail, we're going to talk about how we can improve the wheel bearing for the future. One way is to reduce the friction um, in the wheel bearing, and that's going to reduce the heat that builds up and causes the wheel bearing to fail. Um, so you want to use a grease that performs at high temperatures that are going to occur during a race, and you want to reapply that grease more often throughout your season. Another option, um, if you want to reduce the distribution of stress in the wheel bearing, you could increase the number of rollers. So there's more rollers that the stress is distributed over. And if you want to learn more about awesome mechanics and materials, then you should take EMIC 341.